Our complete election day coverage with anchor John Carlos Estrada. And John Carlos, you've been watching people voting all across Lee County today? Uh, Bob, that's right. We went to five different voting locations all over Lee County. We met people that were voting for the very first time, including a man who can't even vote, but says he wanted to see democracy in action. But all of those people are anxiously awaiting tonight's results. A steady flow of voters today at this Cape Coral Library and this North Fort Myers Church and Fort Myers Community Center. I think this is really a, a pivotal election in the direction that the country is going. For Tony DaCosta, dilated eyes from a checkup wasn't going to keep him away. The last time I was here was for the 2016 presidential election, and it was about like this. It looks like a good turnout. That's what we need, don't we? Voters seem to agree the turnout for this midterm cycle feels historic. It looks like everybody's coming out to vote because we need a lot of changes, and hopefully this, this will happen. This man who can't vote because he's German or is patriotic red, white, and blue to see democracy at work. Well, it's lunchtime now, so it yeah. could be a line. No line. I guess many people already voted. At last check, more than 5 million early voters casted their ballot in Florida before today, also turning out first-time voters. We got to vote for our first time. Both women and many others eagerly awaiting for tonight's results. Today, are you guys going to sit back and watch the results yes. tonight? Yes, yeah, I want to sure, watch it tonight. Sure. I want to yeah. watch it. Yeah. And as we wait for those results, the anticipation is building. We're less than three hours away from that, but there is still time to go to the polls. Live in Lee County, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now.